inquiry is the use of a positive mindset and a focus on what works best and what works well in an organization to take a different approach to addressing problems and uh, seeking out change. It's used by change agents, it's used by problem solvers, um, it's even used in some positive psychology movements um, to transform the thinking process of an individual or group of individuals to really focus on what works well, on what experiences they've had um, that are most positive mm -hmm. and productive and effective and look for ways of creating more of that dynamic in either the workplace or in a personal life. So for example, rather than focusing on how to fix a problem, um, they could choose instead to focus on how to have a, a, a more positive day, a more productive day, uh, how to create an environment that allowed those previous productive days to occur. Mm -hmm. um, if people, for example, were wanting to form a new team, a new, let's say you had a new organization that was forming or you were forming a new working team, you could, it, you could go traditionally by focusing on you know, what, was, what rules do we want to put in place, um, how should this team function, how, what do we want to make sure it doesn't, have, doesn't go wrong, or you can ask each other, what are the best memories and experiences of teams you've been on in the past? You know, what was the most successful experience you've ever had working in a team environment? Um, uh, what, what, ha what was the most fun? What made you feel like you were contributing the most? Uh, what felt the most fulfilling? And then through those stories, identify common elements in them and say, I want to do more of this. I want to be a part of a team that reflects these kinds of values, these kinds of traits and behaviors in a positive way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then come to an agreement uh, on what traits everybody in the room valued and what everybody in the room really thought would be a, a good idea for, for contributing to a, a, a good and productive and successful team and then deciding to move in that direction. Mm -hmm. So rather than setting up rules, you're really agreeing on uh, uh, some positive and uh, uh, reinforcing behaviors mm -hmm. as, a, as a team in that example. sometimes because it seems soft, soft mm -hmm. touchy-feely. The most common criticism I hear is that it avoids problems, mm. um, which is not the case, but people will very quickly say, well, you know, AI says don't look at the problem you're having, look at the, or, or AI, AI says don't look at the problem you're having, look at what works well, and others will say, no, you need to deal with the problem. Mm -hmm. But AI really isn't about avoiding the problem. AI is about taking a very positive approach to what the problem may be. It's about looking at what the ideal situation would be and then working toward that as opposed to undoing something that isn't working well. But people have a hard time with that subtle difference between the two. That's why I like calling AI sometimes a, a positive mindset or mm -hmm. a mindset change. It's not about looking at something else and ignoring the problem. It's about looking at the problem very differently. Yeah. What's the best we can get from here? It's almost like um, taking a bad situation and asking, what can I learn?
people who tend to to uh, accept AI, even mm -hmm. even after a little resistance, they accept it. They recognize the value of teamwork. They recognize mm -hmm. the value that others bring to to an event or to a situation or or to a problem, uh, and they recognize that the human dynamic is important. Yeah. So I think they naturally see recognize the benefits of AI in that. Whereas those who kind of constantly remain critical of it or who think it's too soft, they tend to be the kind of people who, who feel like they have to be the ones that are going to have to see it through. And, and yes, there are others at the, at the table, but you know it's ultimately my responsibility and I have to make sure it happens and I have to stay on task with everyone. So there's, this, there's that subtle difference between how they view how they're going to work with other people as opposed to from, from working with people really is a, the, the, the key to the solution, mm -hmm. whereas working with people is kind of what I have to do to fix this problem. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been yeah. a, a common mindset difference I've seen between those who accept it and those who, you know, kind of stay critical of it. I'm a very visual person, so I like doing mind mapping. Mm -hmm. uh, I like writing out issues and then sharing them with others and dialoguing about them. Um, Setting up task forces is, is usually one of the common responses we have to something new that comes along. Uh, and usually that involves action planning. Mm -hmm. So I also uh, very much will, will map out a, a strategy and I'll present it and I'll say, is this the kind of the direction we want to go? And then mm -hmm. we'll flesh it out, we'll make changes. So action planning, mind mapping um, usually tend to be the, 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 the practices I engage in. Um, timelines are very important to me mm -hmm. and establishing responsibilities for the tasks. You know, this person will be responsible for the task. It may involve other people, but I'm always a, a believer in one person has to be the one to, to, to kind of oversee it. Mm -hmm. They're not the ones that are going to do it alone, but they're the ones that you're always going to be able to turn to and say, where are we on this? Yeah, and how are we going to get there? Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that you're counting on to tell you, it's done, I'm happy with it, we're ready to, to implement or we're ready to, sit, to sign off on it. So those are the, you know, it's always the, you, uh, the beginning and the end of that is always, mm -hmm. they're the ones that are kind of overseeing it, they're the ones that have to sign off.